Okay, for this next video, I'm going to show you how to mark a nerve and also um, some different ways to kind of play with your 3D rendering. So this scan is actually myself. I, I took a scan on myself. This is a 10 by 10 scan in ultra low dose. And if I wanted to clean up that model, I can increase my up arrow and bring down my sun. You also have some other tools to make your 3D rendering look a little better. It's just going to depend on the patient and how many restorations they have in their mouth, but sometimes different filters will make it look better. So right here in this wrench, I, I really like the x-ray setting. So again, the x I just changed it from shaded. So there's x-ray shaded or x-ray. You can play around with some of the different filters that are built into your software. I can increase this little up arrow. And you can play around with it just to see what you like. This bottom arrow allows the bone to be a little bit more translucent. So you can actually see where root tips are. All right, so when marking your nerve, I'm going to be in my, right now I'm in the Explorer, and I'm going to go into my Implant tab. I can click on my A to pull a better pano, or my F. All right, so now in my slices down here, I'm going to slide and start at oh, right here at the mental foramen. So up in this area next to my annotations tab, I have this feature right here where it says draw nerve. It looks like a little pencil with a red line. If I highlight draw nerve, I can start at the mental foramen and now when I put my cursor in this slice, it's showing me that I'm moving distally. And I'm just going to click right in this little hole that is the canal. And I'm going to click in the hole. And now I'm going to slide my bars back. And I'm just going to continue to click in the hole. Okay. Sometimes there's parts of the patient that are a little harder to see where the nerve is and you want to slide back and forth a little bit just to kind of clarify where it may be. And sometimes it's even easier to see it on the 2D panel than it is in the slices, like in this case. I could see right where the nerve goes. So you can actually mark it in either view. Now as I slide back, you'll see right where those holes are. I ever have to, when I'm done marking my nerve, I want to double click at the end. And if I want to move the nerve, I can just select and move it. If there is any place that I wanted to make a little bit of an adjustment. But overall, there's my nerve. If I double click on the nerve, I can change the diameter of it so I could make it wider or thinner. And my nerve is also going to show up in my 3D rendering. Another fun feature in the 3D rendering for patient education purposes is if you click and hold your right click your right mouse key down, hold it down and push it forward push, 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 you'll actually pull your model away from you. If you keep going, you'll slide right around or slide back. It's kind of a powerful feature when you're trying to show a patient, you know, maybe where a third molar is or if they still have a wisdom tooth, up in, an impacted wisdom tooth. But that's how you mark your nerve. 